Okay. This is getting pretty bad. Um, some people in Europe and Germany are like suing Nikon for the SnapBridge application that's attached to the Nikon D500. Now, the problem with this is, is that there is no problem with it. Um, obviously, the application is buggy. It does not work that way very well. It's only for uploading a uh, two uh, megabyte image to your iPhone to like share share on social media. I mean, is this generation douchebag? Listen, I'm obviously fat and I'm definitely lazy. But when someone is fat and as lazy as me is complaining about how pathetically lazy and disgustingly pathetic, you know other people are then that's bad it's like you know when the fat lazy dude is complaining about other people being fat and lazy then there might be a problem <laughs> i mean i've never seen so many whiners in photography and all my life and the nikon shouldn't have even included that feature now it works really well on the fuji by the way um honestly i don't give a shit uh, i was having a, a debate with uh, some people today including a famous person, and by famous, I mean famous in his own mind, a uh, person that writes a lot of stuff about Nikon. He's kind of famous, and you know he loves to complain about Nikon, uh, even though he loves the Nikon. He's always complaining about them. Um, I praise Nikon. Um, they've been doing a lot of stupid stuff recently. But here's my point. You know, <laughs> do you really need that SnapBridge app to work? Okay, let's say that it doesn't work very well. Now, I'm not being an apologist for Nikon. I mean, I've whipped Nikon around the ears for 10,000 things, but this is not going to be one of them. Oh, my God, you're too lazy. You're too much of a lazy douchebag that you can't open up the door on your camera, stick your SD card in your MacBook, and upload a high-resolution picture. Now, they're talking about how slow the transfer rates are, and they are slow to uh, transfer a, a 2 megabyte uh, JPEG image to your iPhone that you can stick on your stupid ass social media account. Are you really in that much of a hurry? I don't know of any professional photographer on earth, I mean a real one, that's like, oh my god, I can't, I can't upload this, uh, two, uh, this uh, 2 megabyte image to uh, you know, my social media. Is that really important? Is that what photography is about? Let's see. Now I've got a MacBook Air. Got a couple of them. One of them's not in front of me. Let's just assume that this is really difficult. I'm going to open up the door, take out my card, stick it in my computer. Then I'm going to open up the hotspot on my phone. Then I'm going to upload high resolution JPEGs or a RAW file to someone that needs it. That's a whole lot quicker. A whole lot quicker. Oh, but then you have to carry around the computer. Do you know how small a MacBook Air is? Favorite machine in the entire world. I used to be number one person in the world for answering tech support questions on the MacBook Air. Incredible computer, very lightweight, very small. Anybody I know that I have any respect for is always packing around a MacBook Air. I don't care what you think about Steve Jobs and Apple. The best machine in the whole world is a MacBook Air. Oh, well, that's just your opinion. Well, no, it's not. You know, it's not. That machine is incredible. Um, how lazy has everybody gotten when the fat, bald, lazy dude... I mean, I am damn lazy. How bad have you all gotten, not meaning you people, but people in general, how bad have you gotten that you're such a lazy, pathetic douche that you're like complaining about... Now, everybody loves faster autofocus. I love faster autofocus. I got a lot of manual focus lenses. A lot of people don't even know how to properly use a manual focus, which is fine. You know, you could learn how to use a manual focus lens. Um, I think it was Zach Arias that said this, that the smarter the camera gets, the dumber the photographer gets. That is so accurate. Everybody, here's the thing everybody's bitching about. TTL photography, flash photography. They're bitching about sufficient, oh, now we need like 12 axis image stabilization. I mean, do, do you really need that? I got by for 20 years without any image stabilization. We had this neat shit called skills. They kind of taught us that, and I, I was self-taught before I reached photography school. There was this neat, really neat crap called skills where you actually knew how to hold a camera, especially in low-light situations where you had a relatively slow shutter. But yeah, there's a neat little thing called skills. It didn't have any vibration control. Any optical image stable? No, no. Now not only does the camera have to be, not only does the lens have to be stabilized, the camera has to be stabilized. We also need a sensor inside the camera that dances around like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. 
Yeah. Now, someone, I went back 20 years ago and said, not only are we going to have lens stabilization for low light, people are like, yeah, that seems like a pretty good idea. But yeah, but in addition to that, people are going to start getting pissy and demanding for, like, dancing sensors. And, and the person would go, what? Yeah, you see, our generation is nothing but a bunch of lazy. Even though I myself am very fat and very lazy, people are even, even if they're in perfect health, they're much lazier than I am. Yeah, they want sensors that to dance around uh, like a, you know, like, uh, you know, a ballerina inside the camera. Dancing sensors, really? Yeah, uh, IBIS, in-body image. Really? Do, do they need that? What, what is wrong? Is like, has everybody forgot how to, hold a, how to hold a camera in the future? Yeah, apparently that's what's happening. You see, nobody has any skills anymore. So what they keep doing is they keep demanding all these camera companies introduce uh, 10,000 bullshit features so they can turn their brain off. You just kind of, you just point the camera in the general direction and take a picture. Oh, I hit the, <laughs> hit the microphone. I mean, God, what is wrong with people? So now we need IBIS, which we don't need. Everybody thinks we need TTL flash photography, which nine times out of ten you don't need. Um, now we have to have optical image stabilization in our lens, which is very nice. Super fast autofocus tracking, very nice for sports and action. Nobody's going to deride that. Okay, but now we also need a high-speed data transfer. Really? Is that the reason you bought this $2,000 Pro DSLR? Is that really the reason that you're going to, like, not like this camera? I actually have seen a lot of Amazon reviews on this camera, and everybody's giving it, that has a brain, is giving it five-star reviews, which is fine. And then there'd be these one-star reviews. Like, I like the camera a lot, but it doesn't, its Wi-Fi is crippled. I can't, like, turn on my iPhone and, like, download a, a low-resolution image to my iPhone so I can stick it immediately on my... Because everybody's waiting for my social media feed. So you can't wait till the end of the day, you lazy, pathetic, knuckle-dragging, mouth-breathing moron. You can't wait till the end of the day, <clears throat> kind of like they did, like, ten years ago, and, like, stick an SD card in your computer and then upload those pictures to your social media account. So that that's what you're bitching about on this camera. You're bitching about SnapBridge. That that's your bitch on this awesome camera, which I got two of these by the way, D500 Nikon. That that's what people are bitching about. And now you've got Europeans and Germans suing Nikon. It says, "Well, it says right here is SnapBridge capable, but the SnapBridge doesn't really work right." I've made up a lot of attack videos on Nikon for doing stupid stuff, but I'm not going to attack Nikon, including this famous author that writes books on Nikon. Um, I, <laughs> what did he call me? He called me some horrible word today, which I can't repeat. You know, I, I didn't say, I said, you know, that's ridiculous. You know, here's an idea. Take your MacBook with you, take out your damn SD card, stick it in your damn MacBook, and upload a high-resolution picture or, you know, the full-blown uh, RAW file. It'll take one one-hundredth as long, and it'll be a high-resolution picture. When you're done, you take it out of your MacBook, and you slide it back in your damn camera. Now, that seems pretty difficult, even for a lazy, fat bastard like me. What the hell is wrong with people? Has everybody turned into, like, a... Uh, a jello spined douchebag? I mean, honestly, what the hell is wrong with people? Nikon gave a perfect. I mean, I've attacked Nikon for lots of stuff lit recently. This is not something I'm going to attack Nikon for, you know? I mean, what the hell? What do we need now? Do I need a little hand to come out of the side of this camera to wipe my ass? It's like, oh, there's a new feature with Nikon. You take it to the toilet with you, too. When you're done, you hit this button up front, and a little hand comes out, and it wipes your little dirty tushy. I mean, what the hell is wrong with people? <sighs> okay, we got TTL flash photography. Now we have image stabilization. That's great. We have super fast autofocus. That's great. Oh, no, even that's not enough. For your lazy douchebag, we are now introducing the disco dancing sensor because in body image stabilization, now your sensor gets to dance inside the camera body. 20 years ago, you, you went to professional photography school and you said, listen, here's the future. You got digital sensors. I was like, oh, that's good. Yeah, but you know, people are really lazy. In addition to the image stabilization on the lens, they're going to want a dancing sensor. They'd be like, what the fuck? Really? What the fuck? 
Yeah, yeah, see the lens is not only stabilized, but inside the camera, the sensor is doing the tango. You know, it is constantly stabilizing you. And they'd say, well, everybody forgot how the, hell to, how the hell to hold a damn camera? Yeah, really that's it, you know. You see Nikon and Canon, what they're doing, and Sony. You'd be like, Sony, that's an electronics company. They don't make cameras. That's what they would have said 20 years ago. And that's actually what I say today. It's not a camera company. Yeah, you see, it, yeah, lens stabilization is not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, we, we, we have to have uh, dancing sensors. You know, that's going to be the greatest fad. You know, it's like, oh, the camera is not good enough unless the sensor also dances. Not only do you have a dancing element in the lens, but the sensor also has to dance. Because if it doesn't, then that camera is just not the latest technology. So, 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 you know, so humans have de-evolved. Is that what you're saying? Humans have de-evolved and they can no longer properly hold a camera. Like an old manual lens and an old... No, apparently they can't do that anymore, you know? It is beyond human capabilities to pick up a camera with no image stabilization at all on body or lens and sit there and know how the hell to take a fucking photograph and hold it steady. No, that is outside the scope of human capabilities. Oh, okay, so, oh, okay. so the future looks really bleak. Yeah, yeah exactly. The future is really bleak. I'm glad I could let you in on a window on the future. That's what the people from 20 years ago would be saying. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. People are suing Nikon because of a stupid Wi-Fi application. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's exactly what makes up this camera. That's the only reason I bought this camera is so I could send over a douchebag toy camera um, two megabyte uh, JPEG image to my iPhone so I could share it with my social media douchebags on Facebook, of which I'm not a member thereof. I don't, I'm not a member of Facebook, by the way. Yeah, okay. That's where current photography is, folks. Um, I, I hope everybody's really proud of themselves on that one. <laughs>